interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Right now at five, chaos and confusion and a mess left behind. Tonight, what prompted a building to partially collapse? Okay, so there's something wrong with the plane and we're making some kind of an emergency landing. They were all ready for a crash. They were all ready for a crash. So we go from near death in a plane crash, almost plane crash, near death experience, to a hot building collapsing. Listen, you, you have to understand that when these things happen, you have to not just pray that you get through it, you have to continue praying because the enemy is yes. is beating the war drums against us. So I feel like we need to go back to the house and really pray, for real. Yeah, no, I do. No, seriously. A-hop just collapsed. I'm serious. Kansas City, IHOP KC for me is like Disney World to Pastor Austin and Sierra. It is the place to be. So I'm going to have a good time being in the prayer room. It's my time to reflect, my time to remember uh, many of the lessons I've learned, and my time just to sit in the presence of the Lord allow him to minister to me so it's gonna be fun I'm also going to minister to a lot of women apparently one man who signed up for our prophetic intercession retreat infamous ride to the airport you never know what's gonna happen on the way to Kansas City you know praying John's a much better driver than Pastor Sierra I see the knuckleheads see the knuckleheads I see Look, it's the knuckleheads. Hello, knuckleheads. People can say, why are you calling them knuckleheads? You'll see over the course of this weekend. Oh my goodness, you're not a knucklehead. You're cute. Hi, baby. Hi. Look, this is very prophetic because Judah, his name, of course, as you know, means praise, right, guys? He yep. praise. And he's going to make his first trip to IHOP in Kansas City. And IHOP is known as the home of the songbirds. You know that Bob Jones that. called them songbirds. They're singers. He called them songbirds. He had a prophetic vision. And so little Judah, I'm believing, is going to catch an anointing at IHOP KC. This is Vanessa riding my chariot furiously. I've sprained my ankle, badly freak accident, and that's not going to stop me. So you don't let things like that stop you. You let them fuel you. You don't let them derail you. You let them make you more determined. So that my only problem right now is this crazy driver. You're getting on. I much prefer this to making the five mile trek between gates in Atlanta. I like this guy. <laughs> that could have been me running for dear life, but no, I have graduated. You know, if I could just get a certain one behind me to give me this treatment all the time. Okay, so there's something wrong with the plane, and we're making some kind of an emergency landing. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but there was a loud funk. So now we're going in circles. Delta has not told us anything about what's happening. No idea what's going on. in this wheelchair for this broken ankle, pressing, persevering. Can you imagine, we were, they sent us from B12 to B34. So they sent us from B12 to B34 after we almost, you know, crashed and burned. And now they sent us back from 34 to 12. We get almost back to 12, and now they're saying go back to 34. So we made it in one piece, an absolute miracle. I think it was a lot of praying in tongues that got us through, and 
I think D is a little traumatized. <laughs> Just a little but you know what prayer will make up the difference so we we're, our first mission is Starbucks and then our second mission is food and my third mission is a pillow to go to sleep on as you know I get up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. I thought I was doing well but in Kansas City they 24 7 pray so they got me beat but it's gonna be a great weekend despite all the enemy resistance it encourages me because I know that we're on the right track and something special is gonna happen this weekend Okay, so we've just been run off the road and we're in a kind of a precarious situation. We've just found out as well that AHOP back home, the building has collapsed. Cut it. You're good, cut it. Turn that way. Face the car and the butt towards the road. So we go from near death in a plane crash, almost plane crash, near death experience, to AHOP building collapsing. Listen, you, you have to understand that when these things happen, you have to not just pray that you get through it to continue praying because the enemy is yes. is beating the war drums against us. So I feel like we need to go back to the house and really pray for real. Yeah, no, I do. No, seriously. <laughs> AHOP serious. just collapsed. I'm serious. Oh, I'm serious. What's going on there, Pastor? This trip has been an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Engine blows up. AHOP co partially collapsed. <laughs> we run off the side of the road and now we can't, we can't get in. <laughs> You know what this is called? This is called, what Pastor Austin was doing is called, it's just so crazy you just have to laugh. Because this is, we're locked out of the house. This key has worked, no problem. The code has worked, no problem. All of a sudden we are locked out. Staring in the rain. And if you know anything about uh, uh, wonderful hair like this, it doesn't like, it doesn't like to be wet, see? Nor does mine. We're still locked out. This is absolutely, okay, let's just review quickly. Plane almost crashes. Check. T-shirt guy tries to curse me. Check. Wait. A hop collapses. A hop collapses physically. Physically, we almost get run off the road and die. Before. Car leaning this way. I mean. Now we're locked out. But now we're locked out in the rain. Very and uh, welcome to Kansas City. Mission accomplished, the first ever prophetic intercessors retreat, smashing success. People were healed emotionally, delivered from demons practically, in reality, uh, impartations, activations. Uh, it was an amazing and amazing journey. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this footage. I want to just speak into your life right now. You know, whatever God is saying for you to do in this season, go for it. You know, God told me to, to do a retreat in Kansas City. I've never done one before. I went for it. If God's given you a dream, if he's given you a vision, if he's given you a gift, if he's given you a calling, if he's given you a mission, if he's given you a mandate, if he's given you a mantle, if he's given you a reason to go for it, go for it. If he's spoken to your heart, I want you to go for it. I just pray right now that you would have the confidence to run with the vision, to make it plain, run with it, keep on looking at Jesus as you run. He will order your steps. I'm telling you what, God is releasing prophetic intercessors to the next level in this season and it's time for you to go for it whatever your dream is whatever your heart's desires just go for it. bless you from Kansas City